Hi, it's Janie here, aka Porter Peach, and I have some um, empties from March that I want to share with you today. Um, part of these are when I was starting my, my make out 2013. I went back through my cabinets and pulled out a lot of my partials and went back and used those up. So, a lot of these are um, products that were already partially used up so it, it's not really like I really went through a whole lot of product in the month of March but by doing this I did um, discipline myself and made myself go through products that I um, had just put under the cabinet and didn't want to use anymore but I went back through and um, used them so let's get started. Uh, first of all I have some um, Bath and Body Works shower gels, black raspberry vanilla, Pink chiffon and cherry blossom. And again, these were just partials that I just finished up. Um, I did finish up a Clinique clarifying lotion number two, and this is in the big bottle that they come out with these a lot of times in the summertime with a um, a pack, a special that they'll do that has like a pump on it. And I always stock up on these because I've used these for probably about twenty plus years, but I really like the clarifying lotion. Finished up a Mark Locks in Place Buildable Hold Hairspray. And it's okay. It's not anything that I'm going to repurchase. A Rampure, Rampure Organics Volumizing Shampoo. And this won't be a repurchase because I don't use shampoo on my hair anymore. I um, do a co-wash with conditioner or I use Win. So that won't be a repurchase. The Wee Dad Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. The big 33.8 um, ounce. And yes, this will be a repurchase. Well, not for a little bit because I have like four of them on backup. But um, this is what I always use on my hair. It's the only thing I use on my hair. And have only used this for probably for the last 10, 15 years. The Avon Skin So Soft and the Sensual. And yes, this will be a repurchase. This is something that my husband and I both use. We use um, the Skin So Soft Original in our bath water. Um, it helps to um, repel mosquitoes and ticks and chiggers. And my husband, he works outside, so he has to have something that's going to help him to keep from getting chiggers. Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, um, aka known as the yellow lotion, the yellow moisturizer. Yes, I will repurchase this. This is um, a standby. I've used this for 20 something years. A Bath and Body Works Antibacterial Moisturizing Hand Soap in Winter Cranberry. And no, I will not repurchase this type. Um, I don't I like the foaming ones better. The foaming ones you can use get everything out. This I had to add water and shake it up and everything just to be able to use all of it. But so no, I won't repurchase that formulation. The secret clinical strength sport deodorant. Um, I will not repurchase this as far as the scent goes. I don't like the sport scent. I like the other scents better, but as far as the formulation goes, yes, I will repurchase. Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover. And I I have one that I'm working on now once it's gone. And these were in like those little the gift with purchase type thing. I won't repurchase this because I feel it's too expensive when you can go to Walmart and get like the Equate brand that's like four dollars. So that won't be a repurchase. The Regis Design Line Finishing Spray Free Spritz. And again, this won't be a repurchase. I only bought it because it was on sale and I finally used it up. The e.l.f. Lotion wipes in the Shea Butter. And I really did like these. I actually liked them better than I thought I would because these, I don't really like putting lotion on when I get out of the shower. I don't like the way it feels. But I liked this. This was nice. And I like the way these smell. So I will repurchase these when they go back on sale. The Crest Sensitivity um, 
Clinical Sensitivity Relief Extra Whitening Toothpaste. One of my favorites, and yes, I will repurchase. The Pericone MD Code Plasma Eye Cream. I really did like this eye cream. Um, used it all up. It's actually the first time I've ever used up an eye cream. So that really says something because usually I'll use them a few times and decide I don't like them. Um, this did not irritate my eyes or burn my eyes. So I, I really felt like it really helped with, with moisturizing. As far as, you know, firming or lifting or anything like that, probably not so. But it was, it was okay. I probably would repurchase once I get through all my other little samples of eye cream. The Philosophy Turbo Booster Sea Powder. And this is definitely a repurchase. Um, what I do with this is you just take a little scoop and you put in with either your serum or your moisturizer, whichever one you prefer, and mix it in. And then you have a fresh um, C product that you can put on, vitamin C product that you put on your face. And I really like this. So yes, I will repurchase this. And then I finished two of the wallflowers from Bath & Body. One was the Winter Candy Apple. And the other one is the Cranberry Pear Bellini. And those smell really good. Be a repurchase. Matter of fact, I did go today and get some new ones for spring. Um, the Equate brand of the Original Clean Towelettes, Makeup Remover Towelettes. And these are the ones that are comparable to Ponds. And I don't like these. I will not repurchase. Cotton Balls. The 200 count of cotton balls and a 400 count of cotton balls. And I do like the, the jumbo, the jumbo ones as opposed to like the little ones. I like the, the bigger ones. And then I have a bunch of um, samples that I went through, and that was part of my makeout 2013. Also, I was to start using up some of my samples. Um, now this wasn't a sample, this was one a lush um, bath bomb and this is the first time I've ever had Lush. I, I went up to the city with my daughter and my son's girlfriend went shopping and they had a Lush store. So I went in and bought a few things and used this and my husband about freaked out when he came in and seen that the bath water was purple and thought I was going to come out of the tub <laughs> purple but no I had no purple but it was it was fun I liked it. Prada candy um, Odo perfume, perfume sample. This smelled good. I liked it. It's not anything that I would repurchase though because I have about 40 perfumes that I need to go through. Um, Flower by Kenzo, an Eau de perfume sample. Um, I do like this. I have a big bottle of this that I have about this much left to use and I do like the way that that smells. This is the Lancer X Dermatology Lancer Method. And what this was, was it was a, um, an exfoliator and then you cleansed and then it was a, um, a moisturizer. And it was really nice. It was in these little packets like this. And supposedly this is only so, sold at um, Nordstrom's. And we don't have one of those here locally so I would have to order it. But that would be something I would, I would consider. Cartier Baser Vola. Don't know how to say that. Anyway, it's a perfume sample. It was okay. Um, it's not anything that I'm going to purchase, um, even if I was out of perfume, just for the fact that I can't pronounce it and I don't like to wear something I, I don't know how to say it. A Philosophy Spicy Pear Bear Cobbler 3 in 1 Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. This is just a sample from um, Sephora. It won't be anything that I will purchase. The Lancome Bright Expert Dark Spot Corrector. And this little sample right here, this lasted me a good month. I mean, this this was a, a good sample and I really liked that. That may be something I might consider, but I'm using some other products right now, some philosophy products right now, so maybe something later on I might um, purchase. Another product candy. Perfume sample. 
C by Chloe perfume sample. This this was okay. Um, I like I usually like the perfumes by Chloe, but this one just isn't really. I didn't. I don't know. It was okay after it dried down for a little bit, but when it first sprayed it, no, I didn't like it at all. The Dr. Brandt Collagen Booster um, Serum. It was a serum. I don't know if it was really anything that um, I would buy, purchase. I didn't really see any big difference with it. The HD High Definition Primer. Again, not anything I'm going to purchase. It, it was a primer. There's more inexpensive primers out there. The Lemire um, Eye Balm Intense. A little sample of it. I did like this, and I do have the full size of this that I haven't started yet, but I will as soon as I'm done with my other little sample. Full Thickening Cream by Living Proof. Um, it was okay. It was a body boosting for all hair types. I really don't need anything to, to boost my hair. I have enough volume as it is. The Bare Minerals Advanced Protection SPF 20 Moisturizer for Combination Skin. And yes, I liked this. Um, I might, when I finish up my um, CeraVe, I may, I may purchase this instead as for a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. The BB Cream, the Black Diamond by Hey Nature. It was okay. I mean, I have some BB creams that I like better. Clinique Happy, little happy perfume sample. This was really nice. Whoops, dropped it. Sorry. But anyway, yes, happy. I definitely buy that. I use that all the time. It's probably like my signature scent. Oops. The um, Dr. Will. Organics Mega Bright Skin Tone Correcting Serum, a little sample of it. Again, with the samples, it's 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 hard to tell if it really did anything because you're just getting like one or two uses out of this. But I liked the way it felt. Um, I read reviews on this, and it's got good reviews, so it may be something I may possibly consider purchasing later on. Another. Um, Perfume sample, Burberry Body. I liked the way that smelt. A Rainforest Moisture Conditioner. This was a little sample, and I had a, um, whoops, and the shampoo also. A little sample with it. But again, like I said, uh, the conditioner I may use again, but the, the shampoo, no, because I'm not shampooing my hair. I'm just doing the conditioning, the wind or a co-wash with conditioner. Um, the Hay Nature Aqua Brightening Gel. This little sample. It was okay. Number 19 by Chanel. That was nice to wear some Chanel. It smelled good. Um, definitely would be think about purchasing, but Chanel is kind of expensive. Might be a good um, Christmas gift or birthday anniversary present. Oh, here's another one. Um, Jasmine Noir by Bulgari. A little perfume sample. It smelled good. I liked it. Living Proof Restore Recovery Re Regime um, Treatment. Now you're supposed to use this um, a single, this was just a single dose, but you're supposed to use it for like one per week for up to four weeks to see results so I can't really tell you if it was good or not since I only had one. The Trish McAvoy Beauty Booster Serum. It was okay. It's expensive so it would not be a repurchase because I feel like I can find um, serums that work just as well that aren't as expensive. The Kate Somerville um, Exfoliate. I had a couple of these little samples. I really, really, really liked this. And I was actually going to, to um, repurchase some of this or purchase it. But it's, it's expensive, guys. I mean, it was like $125 for 
a container. That's that's too much for an exfoliator, so no, I won't repurchase or purchase. The um, Glycolic Actic Skin Renewal Peel Mask. This actually, I really did like this, and even with it just being a one-time treatment, I actually felt like I could see a difference. So this would be something I would might consider repurchasing or purchasing. The Alien by Terry Mogler. I didn't like this, so that would not be something I would purchase. this is it's some kind of luminizing moisture tint by Jor Jor is that how you say it you'll probably know it was okay not anything I'm going to purchase then I also have another little um, Lemire whoops, moisturizing lotion sample and it was okay. It's not anything that I'm going to um, purchase because I did find by looking at YouTube videos and researching that there are dupes for this out there. And one of them being the um, Nivea um, body cream, moisturizing body lotion that you can purchase. Um, but not the one that you buy here in the United States because it's made in Mexico. The one that is the dupe for the Lemire. It's made in Germany, and I ordered it off of a website out of a, um, a company, a drugstore out of Chicago, and got it, and I really, really, really like it. And then finally, I did the Mineral Botanic by Ahava, and it was a body wash and a um, moisturizing lotion little sample duo. It was okay. Funny thing that I'm going to purchase. Anyway, that, that is my empties. I think I did really good this time uh, for being just starting out. I think there was um, over 50 products there that I had actually used up, which is really good because normally they would have just be sitting either in my cabinet or in my box of samples, not being used, going to waste. So yes, I did. Um, I did really good. So I'm going to continue saving my empties so I can show you on um, April's video. Anyway, talk to you later, and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, um, Porter Peach. Thanks. See you later.